needs to be excessive alcohol consumption smoking. The, the key is most of these things have been implicated, however, nothing has been validated. For example, um, uh, there's a study on vitamin D supplement uh, that turned out to be negative. It did not uh, decrease the mortality of colon cancer. Um, familial syndromes, as mentioned, HFTCC or Lynch syndrome, uh, it, uh, it uh, takes up about 5% of all uh, colorectal cancers. It, it's an autosomal dominant uh, germline mutation. Uh, DNA is naturally their protein. And it, however, this mutation can also occur in about 10 to 15% of sporadic uh, colorectal cancer. The key difference is um, in, in the in patients with Lynch syndrome, um, they have this germline mutation, and uh, typically uh, nowadays we we do blood testing and it can detect the mutation. Versus in the sporadic cases, the mutation is often just detected in the tumor. And uh, um, the Lynch syndrome is a clinical is a clinical diagnosis, or traditional has been a clinical diagnosis based on the Amsterdam criteria where you need to have at least three cases of uh, colorectal cancer. One of them has to be uh, at 40 age 50, and um, they have to be first degree relatives. However, um, no, there's a Bethesda criteria, and, and more recently there's even a modified Bethesda criteria, where now it's taking into uh, the, um, the genetic screening of uh, the mismatch group their proteins in, in, into account, and I'll show you a table um, later. Finally, there's also um, the familial adenomatous polyposis or the FAP that syndrome, which is a little uh, more rare, only about 0.5 to 1% of all colorectal cancer. It, it is also autosomal dominant um, inheritance. Uh, 